Uh, my name is Maya. I'm a 22-year-old college student located um, in a small town a little bit north of Philadelphia. I am currently a psych major at a local community college, and I work as a nanny as well. I live with my parents and my younger brother, and my mom, I've always seen her be an advocate for uh, Fabry disease patients, and so I hope to continue her, her trend. My grandfather was first diagnosed with Fabry in 1984, um, when my mom was 14. My family has known for a long time, longer than most families with Fabry. They, he was able to get a very early diagnosis because my family very much pushed for that and several other opinions of doctors to make sure that he had a proper diagnosis. So I've always been aware of what Fabry was in my life from pretty much as long as I can remember. Uh, my family has always been very open about it, especially because there was a 50% chance that I would be inheriting the disease. I was diagnosed when I was 10, officially, but I had already been experiencing symptoms beforehand. I actually started experiencing some symptoms in elementary school. Um, so when I was very young, um, that kind of pushed the official diagnosis, was experiencing early onset symptoms. Yeah, so I, I have a large family. Um, my mom is the youngest of six siblings. Fabry disease was diagnosed on her side of the family, my grandfather, and his four daughters were all diagnosed. So I have a few aunts, and then they each had kids, and five of us, I think, five of us um, in my generation that have Fabry. Um, so everyone in the family is very... Like, everyone knows, everyone's very educated about it. Uh, like, there are multiple of us within the same family that we lean on each other and support each other. Well, it's an invisible disease. A lot of my advocating is in my daily life. When I tell people that I'm, I have a chronic illness, that I have, a, like, a disability, they don't believe me or um, seen as using it for attention or an excuse. think that not being visibly ill definitely comes with a lot of challenges day to day because people think that you're feeling totally fine 100% when you are experiencing daily pain and symptoms that make it much more difficult than the average person. If you ask the Fabry patient, are you in pain? Nine days out of 10, they're going to say yes. Something is hurting. Um, it's more often not the question of are you in pain, just how much pain are you in today? Specifically, I deal with a lot of uh, migraines and headaches and fatigue, and I also get a lot of neuropathic pain, which can be very difficult because I enjoy being active. And um, I'm a nanny to young kids, and I'm also in school, so I have a busy schedule. And being more fatigued than others, being not at 100% all the time, definitely makes it harder to keep, keep up with my peers. And so luckily I've been able to be on treatment um, since I was first diagnosed. So I started treatment at 10 years old. I mean, I don't really know um, because I don't really have anything else to base it off, but I would say that it has helped me lessen symptoms that would have been worsen, worsening over the years. Um, so I have always been able to keep up with treatment. Um, I've had a, tried a few different forms, which is nice. And just taking care of yourself and being aware of where your body is at the moment and not pushing yourself. I think being aware that you do have these limitations is extremely important in taking care of yourself.